Um, all right, this one is completely vulnerable message here. So, sorry, I'm taking off his harness. Um, just because I know I can share it with you without judgment. It's a weird feeling. I don't know how I felt during the first two pregnancies. I'm gonna work on manifesting during this pregnancy since I am pregnant. Um, but I know I'm pregnant, but for some reason, there's like, how do I describe this? A lack of, not a lack of attachment, a lack, there's always orbs of mine, always. Yeah, you could say it's my camera type. Or do I just always have little, in the light, the light is both of us, but. Like a lack of a feeling of another human in my belly. Like I know I'm pregnant, but I do not yet feel a connection. That's what I'm looking for. I do not yet feel a connection with the baby in my belly, my uterus. So I know I'm pregnant. I can feel I'm pregnant having to pee multiple times a night, the pooch. I guess the having to pee multiple times a night, I asked uh, my therapist, the midwife, because I did not understand if it was like ligament laxity, which I know they say, or SB was like, oh, maybe it's detoxing. Um, so you pee more. I was like, I don't know. Um, my therapist helped me. And this one actually resonated with me. It's because the uterus is growing and pushing on the bladder. I was like, it can't be the baby growing and pushing on the bladder because the baby's not growing yet. It's like a teeny tiny little speck or tadpole or whatever size it is right now at three, four, four weeks. So I know it's not that, but it's the uterus that is already growing and expanding and it's doing it already quicker since this is my third pregnancy. Um, but that's what I wanted to share and just be open and vulnerable and get it out. And that's something that I need to work on manifesting because like throughout the pregnancy, I want to feel connected to the little one in my tummy, but I do not yet feel that. And I can't remember if I felt that with Callie or Hobbs. I honestly don't honestly, 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 I honestly don't know how I felt with them. I can't remember, but I don't feel like a connection yet. Does that make sense? I don't want to say it, but I almost like don't necessarily know if there's like a soul there. I don't know if it'll make it officially real until I hear the heartbeat. That might officially make it like, okay. Um, yes. And then, random thing, my PT, my personal trainer, sorry, not my physical therapist, I shouldn't have used those abbreviations, whatever. My personal trainer said the word JIP today, and I laughed. <laughs> he was like, huh? And I was like, yeah. My friend got in trouble for it, for saying it, because apparently it's a derogatory term. I don't know, driving from Gypsy, something like that. So it's derogatory. I don't know. And he was like, I didn't even realize I said it. I was like, oh yeah, neither did she. It's not like it was meant in a derogatory way. But people these days just get so upset about stuff that it's like, all right. Which, yeah, we all have triggers. I acknowledge that. Definitely had some major triggers this morning. Okay, I'm still growing and learning. And in the meantime, freaking out on people who can't communicate in a healthy fashion, who make me feel like I'm being gaslit. Oh wait, not make me feel, who are gaslighting me. I'm just gonna say it one more time just to get it off my chest. By telling me that they weren't expecting my son back until tomorrow, 
well, you need to communicate that with me if that's what you're thinking, because you never said, we're not expecting Hobbs back until Thursday. We just said, we need to keep each other updated. And you never said it needed to be within a certain time window. You just said, I just said, I will keep you updated with the plan. So if you need those specific things, boundaries, you need to communicate those boundaries. And when you don't communicate those boundaries, then the light just won't stop. Take ownership and recognize you did not communicate those boundaries. All right, I'm gonna add a couple of things to my uh, manifesting list crap. There's a couple of them. All right, I know one of them was that I spend all of my time doing something that I love. So I started a list. Sorry, that's the phone thing. Started a list of 2022 manifesting and manifesting schools that resonate. I've heard of cottage schools. I kind of want to look into that more. Nature schools, cottage schools. I don't know. I got to learn more about stuff, but I started putting stuff down. I just don't know what else to add. Because the school that I want, I don't know. It's not in my reality yet. But I know it'll be even more magical than I could ever expect in my 2022 manifesting. All right, I'm going to go add this one to the list. I'm going to go ahead and get some water. I love you.